me. Oh. Leave my waste disposal unit. I think you've killed it. I think you killed it. I'm a very lucky girl. I've got a pre-Christmas present of a new laptop, but now I have to sit and watch it all transfer. So I'm going to take the dog out and let it go because we all know a watched pot never boils and a watched computer never loads. I'm quite proud of that. That's my new thing. Look who's here. <laughs> Be nice. You ready? local children but if you look it's nice isn't it I'm going to show you the pavement that's what you turn into vlogs for they go under there you can see all the um conquer shells happily stolen away by probably children or animals thing and they are singing to their heart's content it's glorious wondered whether this might have been an attempt at a nest. It's ever so small, it's not really finished, so I don't know, perhaps a wren or robin. But obviously it's long since abandoned. Uh, Henry's driving nuts and then that's the lawn. It's never looked too good. Oh, oh, Henry's Henry! Watch, 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 watch. What's around it? No, no. <sighs> okay, lost Henry now. He's in there somewhere. I think his lead's actually caught there, which is quite funny because he won't be able to go anywhere. <laughs> this way. Oh, and there's a very frustrated honey bear in there. Right, I better get that lad back indoors, hadn't I? Oh, sniffing out his territory. And you don't need to see my face. You really don't. So I'm going to just focus you on the box. It's like a mini unboxing. But first, I wanted to show you last year, I collected in a little book, um, a bit like a Pinterest board, really. From some of the magazines I had, I cut out and kept things that I thought were inspiring. And this was particularly 
about Christmassy bits. So I kept pictures. And one of the things that I absolutely loved, and I can't remember what magazine I got this from, was that. <clears throat> and it was kind of my aim one day, one Christmas, to have a mantelpiece with all these beautiful different types of candles and candle holders. So this year I've made a start on collecting. And so the first candle holder I bought, I didn't go too mad. This was actually on the Black Friday sale on Anthropology. It wasn't on the Friday that I did the shopping, it was over the weekend, but fortunately, I didn't realize it was, they were 25% off, so I bought a couple of bits. I could have gone absolutely mad. <gasps> Look at that candle holder. That's so, so beautiful. And that is, oh, it's got the price on, which I'll take off, because nobody needs to see um, um, horrid details like that, basically. But it's like, it's an anthropology there. Not sure where it was made, probably, oh, China. Wish I hadn't looked now. But that's so pretty. So that's my first I have got another candle holder that Gainer made me. Tales from Cookie Land, Gainer. She sent me, was it last year? Year before last, I think. So I will get that out as well. But that's that one. Then <clears throat> there's this one. There were so many lovely ones to choose from. But I was very restrained. Not that restrained, actually. Oh, look, I love this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. So there's a nice sloppy spill there, which I think is rather nice. And this is all really smooth, but this bit is rough. That's just beautiful. So... Again, yeah, made in China, but for anthropology. So they're the two candle holders I bought. It's the start of my collection. I've seen some really nice ones in town. There's a shop in town. Actually, Hannah and I were there yesterday, um, and he sells cast iron candlesticks. And I'm very tempted to get one, but we'll see. Right, I then bought a couple of candles, which are in this box, because, you see... I've got some plain tapered candles, but I wanted to get some slightly pretty or slightly different ones. Oh, I thought that was on the candles, but it's actually wrapping paper, which I can keep. Because that will be super pretty to reuse. Oh, look at these. So they're the candles I bought. So they're plain black, which is most unlike me, but they're that shape. And I think I might have to, I might have to just trim down the bottoms for them to go in those candlesticks, but they're lovely. So I got those. And a couple of weeks ago, I found these on, I can't think what website, a catalogue. It might've been, oh, Culture Vulture, I think that's a, a UK one, but these were on back order and I'm so pleased that I waited for them. Look, it's a Nutcracker candle. And he's got a little friend. Look, actually he could sit really nicely in that one. Come on, you can't see that, can you? So he would fit in there or in the other one but aren't they just wonderful this one reminds me of war and peace for some reason not sure why looks more russian than this one but there you go i'm not sure i'm gonna to want to burn those <laughs> so there's my collection now i did pieces i've had a bit of a bit of a funny old day truth be known this morning, I didn't feel terribly festive at all. I felt terribly tired. 
oh my goodness we had such a lovely day yesterday but I was exhausted and I had a lot of kind of administrati stuff to do this morning so I did uh, I did all of that um, and you probably would have seen a few clips of that but I did take um, not my own advice uh, if you remember in my podcast was it my last podcast possibly I recommended <clears throat> I said I was going to start working through this book so I was feeling really sort of thick-headed and muggy at lunchtime so Henry and I went for a walk and it was yeah it was glorious yeah honey is the one that is pattering around now she's got into her basket so hopefully you won't have all of that oh my goodness look at this sneeze I think because I'm tired I've got I feel a bit coldy um but what I was going to share with you were a couple of things just quickly my second pair of santa socks uh, st nick socks sorry so that's this pair which are for me so i can say now the pair i knitted previously that i put on instagram a week or so ago was part of hannah's birthday present so i gave her hers yesterday which she loved and she always gets cold feet and these are dk so these were great there's a bit of an issue getting it over her heel because um, my bind off in the boot clay might have been a bit tight, but she got them on. It was all good. But these are mine and they both fit me and go over my heel perfectly. And this was a Santa sock set from Lay Family Yarn. And the pattern, of course, is the St. Nick socks by So Sweet Violet by Jules. Dear Jules. So, yeah. And I've done them as shorty socks and they knit up so quickly. So if you fancy doing a Christmas pair, um, there's those. So they were done. I was really pleased. I've still got a bit of secret knitting I'm doing, so I can't show you that. Um, but I did think, I forgot yesterday in all the excitement to open my advents. So remember from my friend Janine, I've got day two. And I've got day three. So I thought I would open up these. So if you remember, Janine was very naughty because we didn't arrange to do a swap, but she did me an advent out of the goodness of her heart. So, <coughs> excuse me. Oh dear, I've torn the envelope, sorry. It's yarn. Oh, another chocolate coin. It's tradition at Christmas, isn't it? You have to have the chocolate coins. And, Wow, look at that. That's really pretty. It's a little bit more turquoise -y. That's better. Isn't that gorgeous? That little mini, right, that's going to definitely go into a blanket. So this is day three. I don't want to cut the string, but I'm going to have to. I'm intrigued by this one. <gasps> Chocolate coin. Oh, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at that. Now I have such dry hands. Oh. Oh. That smells gorgeous. So it's sheer butter. Just a sec. A delicately floral fragrance, blending notes of coconut and lime for a modern twist. It is, because I can't do really super floral, but actually that's really nice. That's lovely. I think I'll have to keep that in my craft room and put it on each morning when I come and do my journaling perhaps. So days two and three. I'm a lucky girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, Jan. That's really lovely. No, we're at 10 minutes. I'll very quickly show you. I picked up this copy. As you know, I collect copies of Christmas Carol and I picked up this from a secondhand bookshop. It's so lovely and it's illustrated by Mariah and I looked that up and it is actually, I believe, a Czechoslovakian, a famous 
Czechoslovakian illustrator um, who's illustrated all of this. So show some more Jacob Marley and Scrooge. It's such a lovely book. It had a cover on it, but the cover was all torn, sadly. So I decided just to take it off. Oh, that must be Fezziwig. Yeah, Fezziwig's Christmas party. I just love those kind of, they're real, what you might call quality street illustrations. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too long on that. Otherwise, we're going to be too long again on the vlog. And I did promise, didn't I? So um, that's it. So for day three, just a quick note, I'm not going to be vlogging over the weekend. I'm going to have the weekend off because otherwise I'm going to be running myself into the ground and that would serve no purpose at all. Plus, I want to have a chance to get the Christmas decorations up. I will probably do some recording, but I won't be publishing a vlog now until Monday. But then we'll start again and I'll be with you all next week. So I'm going to wish you all a very happy weekend and I will see you soon.